Hey, what's up? How are you? Hey, good. Hi. This is Bella. Everybody say hi to Bella. <laughs> She's back here. Hi, I'm Bella. Bella, all right. So, Bella, what grade are you in? Where do you go to high school? So forth and so on. I'm a freshman at Mustang High School. A freshman, like we had this conversation earlier. I guess you're still a freshman because you still got to do some freshman work, but. Yes. I guess if you wanted to claim you're a sophomore, you could though. I mean, I could call myself a sophomore, I guess. I gotcha. Uh, so, where are you filming from today? My house. Your house. In my uh, living room. Yes, you have a nice clock behind you. That's it's it's telling the right time. I feel like. Thank you. So I was like, I don't even know what to say there. So <laughs> Thank you very you're much. You're welcome. You're welcome. So tell me about your family. What do you have? Brothers, um, sisters, mom, dad, cats, dogs, whatever. I have my mom, my stepdad, my stepbrother, who is nine months younger than me, and my little sister, who is eight. And then I have two dogs. What are their names? Bodie and Bentley. Bodie and Bentley. What kind of dogs are they? Do you know? Bodie's a Shih Tzu, and Bentley's a Shorky. A Shorky. Wow. He's that's a Schnauzer a... Yorkie. Oh, Shorky. I don't think I've ever heard of that before. That's a... oh, he's, he's really cute. Cool. All right. Well, tell me a little bit more about yourself, some of the things that you're interested in, things you like to do, stuff like that. So at school, I'm involved in choir, all the leadership things that you can do. And then at home, I do yoga lessons and I do piano lessons. And I just love to hang out with friends. So and just, your yeah. yoga and piano lessons, is it online or is it like? No, no. Piano is online right now. But okay. yoga, I actually go to a studio, but I haven't yeah. been because yeah. it's closed. So what is the hardest position for you? The tree or whatever? I don't even know. I don't even know what they're called at this point. I just do them. You just get there. And do you there's, feel there's, there are some that I want to like just die and like fall over and just, like, like I see. I didn't even know you did yoga. That's a, an interesting thing for well, me. Well, I've been doing it for like three months two months oh okay i got you so i did a beginner class and now i'm like in like the fourth like the top like the fourth nice are you getting better at it every day yes yes i used to have no balance at all and now i actually have balance so that's good does it make you more flexible yes it does so it's maybe more flexible i can't like bend over and touch my toes like if i do yeah definitely do this oh gosh it's, it's not happening. I got like six inches. It's not happening. I don't, I don't know. It's fine. Do yoga. It'll help. Uh, maybe I should start. Doing some yoga. Uh, I think that people would pay to watch me do yoga and how bad it would be. It's really relaxing. It puts you in a good mindset. I understand. Cool. Hey, so obviously I would love to do an interview with you in person, but we're COVID-19 and so we have to be six to six miles away six feet six <laughs> miles away something like that and we get that but uh one of the cool things i want to ask you a couple things about how's this coronavirus affected you well i was supposed to go to disney world tomorrow wow that's that's not <laughs> happening <laughs> you and everybody else going to disney yep mm -hmm. um I cannot leave my house. I cannot hang out with my friends. And I'm like a very outgoing person. And I always want to hang out with people and talk to people. And that's yeah. been really hard because it like makes you kind of feel lonely because you're just like chilling at home. Yeah. And I mean, even us getting to hang out FaceTime like this, it's still not the same, is it? Yeah. Well, it's, it's still good though. So I get to talk to someone. I know it's fun. <laughs> and like, uh, I have an honest question for you about the coronavirus. With okay. it now like almost what is this safe distancing social distancing for a while that stay yeah. home gotta act yeah. and since i think they said officially trump said it in what day was that march the 15th and it happened a little bit so two weeks how many days have you fixed your hair in those two weeks i think this is like my third time third time <laughs> so you just gotta yes. do it so you remember how to do it right that kind yep. of stuff. I understand that. All right, okay, a couple of things I want to talk to you about. So okay. our our listening audience, all like 44 subscribers that we have right now. And by the way, if you're watching this, please hit that subscribe button right up here in the corner so that you can uh, make sure you get all our updates. It's a lot of fun stuff there. But so people get to know Bella a little bit. Tell me how you came to know the Lord. Where were you? What happened? Okay. Stuff like that. So my mom married my stepdad when I was like 
four or five, and we moved to his hometown, which was called Payton, Oklahoma. Okay. It's very, very small, and it's like an hour and a half from here, and I grew up in that church, and I was saved when I was eight, and like my whole family's all Christian, so it made sense that I would get saved at a young age, but I didn't, I wasn't close with God until I was like 13. Because I don't think I really realized what being saved meant until I was 13. And it was really until I started getting involved in this youth that I realized how much more I need to do. I guess my so what was that? If there was like one turning point that you would sit there and say, this is the defining moment in my spiritual life, what would it be? Defining moment of my spiritual life. So like an event, a Wednesday night, or was it just a culmination of different things? A bunch of stuff. I think it was that. I think it was just like so many different things. Just like when I was like 13, like coming to the youth and like starting to go to Falls Creek and Super Summer. I think Super Summer, my first year, was a really big thing for me. Because like really, really got, that was the first thing that really got me out of my comfort zone. Because I used to be like kind of shy and I didn't want to like go meet new people all the time. Sure. But now like I love to meet new people. I love to be a leader in the church. I love to bring others closer to Christ. And I used to be so scared of that yeah so I, think it, I mean super and it shows in your face and your actions and stuff like that and like your understanding yeah. now even more last couple of years is astronomical yeah. or what it was that kind of stuff yeah so sure. uh you said you started coming to chisholm stuff like that what do you love about chisholm heights oh my goodness i love all the people not just the youth just like everyone like everyone you just see on sunday everyone's just smiling and the youth like we're all just like one big family like no one wants to be like sad and everyone's just there for each other like if someone goes through something hard like a death or something like we all just come together for that person i gotcha and have you seen uh positive aspects of friendships that you've had with the students oh for sure I think Breck and Nicole, they were my very, very first friends when I even moved to Mustang because sure. of the, because of Chisholm, because Chisholm was my first church that we came when we moved here right. and I became best friends with them, like right off the bat. And they're still my best friends. What's so. cool for Bella that you guys don't know about, uh, Bella is instrumental. That ninth grade group of girls is, is pretty big. <laughs> you agree? Yeah. And one of the things I love about Bella, you guys do at least twice a year. Like you do a big ninth grade girls sleepover kind of thing. Those yes, do. yeah that's kind of your brainchild that's kind of your baby what made you decide to do that I don't know so like I was just talking to Breck and Nicole one day and like I just felt like we were very like clicky in our ninth graders and like we just had like so many different friend groups and I was like why have that like we just need to bring everyone together Absolutely. and so I was talking to my mom and she was like we can just do a Christmas party sleepover thing at our house and so we've been doing it for the past two years and what's awesome about that is I think because of those steps, you guys have all become closer. Like, oh, for everybody. sure. For like, sure. There's people yeah. that you wouldn't talk to on a normal basis just because you don't run the same circles. Yeah. But because of your willingness to get out there and say, hey, let's bring everybody in, it's made you closer. Yeah. Would you agree for sure. with that? For sure. Um, yeah. Some of, like, what is one of your favorite things we do at Chisholm? One of our favorite things. Yeah. I love D now and fallback. Like I love Super Summer and Falls Creek, but I think D now and fallback is when we can really all just come together and like it's super duper close. Yeah. And like those weekends, they're only like three days, but I literally get so much more closer to everyone in the entire youth group, and it's Absolutely. just I love it. It's awesome. Um, and yeah. I mean, you got some great friends, people that you love, stuff like that. Me, I, I get that. I, I'm, it's of part of the gig. Part of the gig. What can I say? Yeah. I know. I know. But during this time of Corona and everything else, if you could give yes. one encouraging word to people, what would it be? I would say to just stay positive in everything and try not to be scared and that just know it's all going to work out and that it's going to be over soon. And just have faith that God has a plan for all this. I gotcha. Here's the other question I have for you. What are you doing to keep up with your spiritual walk now that, uh, your world has been totally upside down that kind of stuff I've definitely been more and more in my bible because like I don't like every single night I do a devotional for like almost two hours and I don't know I think without this quarantine like actually having time to myself it has made me go so much closer to God awesome I just have more time to think have you been checking on some people like yes next, every day every day like do you every rotate day. it or do you have like the same people or no I mean, I have like my same people, but then some days like I'll like be thinking about like I was thinking about Megan one day. So I called Megan and I was nice. like, how are you? 
How so are I, you? I call like random people just to check out. I got you. And, that, and that's what we should be doing. And have people yeah. reached out to you and checked on you a little yes. bit? How does that make you feel? It makes you feel so good. I mean, it, it makes me miss them. It does. And it's not anything big. It's just, no. here it is. Let's do this oh. kind of stuff there. Oh, you miss me? <laughs> Yeah. Oh, then it's a it's a fun thing for us there, and yeah, it's what we do. Um, so Bella, do you have anything else you want to share with us, or anything else? I don't think so. Cool. Well, Bella, thank you for your time. Can I ask you to do one quick favor for me? Can you say a word of prayer for us, and then let's throw the deuces and get out of here? Yes. Okay. Dear Lord, I thank you for this day. I thank you for Pup, and I thank you for this church, Lord. I just pray for everyone watching this, for everyone in the world, just to be patient and know that you have all this under control and that you love us so much and to not lose faith in you. And in Jesus' name, pray, amen. Amen. All right, bye, Belle.